for your notes, how to write a lab report. The focus for today is going to be on the procedures, which I'll be very honest, are probably going to be one of the more difficult portions, especially early on uh, when writing a lab report. So when you're actually writing your procedures, your procedures are really truly your step-by-step -step process in which you are writing about what steps need to be taken and in what sequence. So what's the first step? What's the second step? And so on and so forth. The fact is, is that you are writing these, as I will emphasize in class, you want to write them as if you have a younger sibling, maybe in kindergarten, first, second, third grade, that if they were to listen to you, because they may not be able to read it, but if they were to listen to you, they would know what to do and how to do it. So the first thing is, this is a numbered sequence. So what you're going to be doing is, you are going to be numbering them as far as step number one, step number two, step number three, and then as many steps as it takes for you to complete it. And you want them to be very detailed. Details, details, details are a very important part in the actual procedures. Let me give you an example. Using the 250 mil beaker labeled room temp water, pour 100 mils of room temperature water into the blue plastic cup. Now, all the things that I've underlined, obviously there's a lot of things there, but notice the detail. We talked about the, the one that is labeled room temperature water. We talked about how much the size of the beaker you need to use. We talked about how much you need to pour of room temp water into that specific type of cup. And notice it's a blue plastic cup because maybe you had blue, red, yellow, green. The fact is you need to be very specific with your actual procedures. So again, when somebody else comes along and would like to, let's say, do your lab, you need to know they need to be able to actually explain and be able to read what you have explained to them so that it is very clear so that they could follow it without you standing right next to them and telling them what to do. So again, this will be a little difficult, especially in the beginning. This is what Mr. Fusak and I are going to spend a lot of time with you to try to work out how to write very clear, concise, detailed procedure steps when performing an experiment.